Right, so we need a fifth deck, right? Because there's five days in a week, at least the days that I upload. So Shiner, Max, uh, Professor Teclo, Melody, and yeah, I, I was kind of torn. I was thinking either Guardian, right? Try to go for the, all the new big auras and go for a huge heavy hit. But then as good as that is a combo, it's not really a hard combo and probably be you know, one of the more competitive decks where we're going to try. I will eventually get to it. I do have to learn how to play Guardian, but I think we're going to go with... It loads. Should have clicked it earlier. Uh, there we go, Benji, right? And the reason I've picked Benji over Ira for uh, ninja stuff, be it Crouching Tigers, or well, the big thing we really want to go for is... Where is it? Salt the Wounds, right? The reason I've picked Benji is his draw is significantly better than Iris. Iris is, uh, if it hits, draw two cards, whereas this is, if it hits, draw a card for each other attack action with two or less base power, right? Which is great, because the upside to it can be significantly high, especially if you're going for Crouching Tigers. So, yeah, I think that makes up for the minus three. Uh, we do have a few cards that don't really matter for his effect, because Benji is not base it's two or less as it is on the combat chain which is sort of important but you know crouching tiger wise even salt the wounds uh does it get the plus after i'm curious about that whether or not it qualifies it probably doesn't but anyway the draw alone is i think powerful enough to make benji the the front runner for trying to get a huge salt the wounds so the idea is just go for a ton of tigers into salt the wound easy should be fun again more more sort of actually competitive compared to the other decks we've been trialing, right? I mean, it's probably this, Guardian or Azalea for me, right? Going for a arrow combo with like the bullseye braces and some other things. But anyway, I will wait for an opponent and yeah, we'll, we'll rock Benji for a little bit. Right, dash it is. You disconnected. Oh, are we having issues? Are oh, they still choosing who goes first? There we go. Okay, this is old dash two, right? So they are still tempo heavy, and they're probably going to do the whole penetration script, which is a big opener. They choose to go first, because I think that's actually... They went Teclo Pounder. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's definitely better for them to go second, because of their hands. Uh, what can we even do? We can create the tag claws. We can create. And we can roar. Okay. Uh, oh, but does it actually do anything with Salt the Wound? I mean, we might as well attempt it, right? Straight away. Predatory Strikes, we're going to draw our hand back regardless. So they're at zero. Uh, we can then do Flex Claws first. No, because we want... If you've attacked with a Crouching Tiger, yeah. So we want to Growl. Easy peasy. And then this will also be the second attack. Ah, no, that's that's sort of bad then, right? Because both buffs are going into the Crouching Tiger. No, no, because attack cards you control with two or less can't be defended. No, that's the wrong thing. When an attack action you control hits, gain one. Because what we want is the plus one damage. That's the, the big thing so that we can chain the Crouching Tigers together. Trigger the Mask of Momentum. Trigger, trigger the Tiger Stripe Shuko. So they are blocking. It's fine. We still get the plus one. Do we want to create? Not yet, because it is instant anyway. Right, so now we can go with a Crouching Tiger. For one, perfect. They're letting it hit, interestingly. We can then activate Blood Scent. Pass. Right, so we get the one resource. Uh, do we go Crouching Tiger? Yes, because the first one hit. There we go, Crouching Tiger first. It's doing two, that's fine. Because of the Tiger Stripe. And then... Third or higher, the Train Link hits. That's only one hit so far. But then we can go... Oh, ah, but we don't have anything pitched, that's the issue. For the Kadachis. So I should have done that a little bit different. So I could swing with them as well. Pass. And I'm probably going to Arsenal Salt the Wounds, I think. Yeah. Not bad. 
Probably went a bit hasty on the blood scent. Double strike is good for salt the wound. And then we have a flex score to actually pitch something, which is what we want. Right, and we actually want to pitch the yellow so that we are under two. So they're expediting. We're probably letting everything through and we're just, again, doing sort of a tempo race against Dash, right? Rather than blocking because everything has blade break anyway. We want to keep it all. Well, actually, no, we could use, we could use the pouncing paws, but it doesn't really matter. They got a boom grenade, so that is slightly bad. Right, they can push some decent damage now. It all depends, because boost-wise, right, they're, they're pressuring more damage easily. Burn rubber. For five. This plus two and can't be defended by equipment. That's fine. We're going to take the five and we're going to take the three, right, because it's yellow. So it's eight. And I am hoping that we have counted reasonably, right? But actually, no damage-wise. Okay, so... So when it resolves, it's fine. I guess we just open with double strike. It's the balancing of the abilities that I need to think about. They still have the crown to block with, and they still have one boundary heart to block with. So there goes the foundry heart, which is fine, right? We can double strike again. It doesn't gain the buff, because it's when it hits, right? So it's fine to play. Because we really want the Tigers. That we can end on pouncing. They blocked it again, that's fine. We're going to play... Do I want to pitch the yellow so I can swing a... Sorry, do I want to pitch the blue so I can swing with both? I think I do actually. Right? So we play Flex Claws. We pitch blue, so we have the two resource floating, so the blood scent would have come in more handy here, I think. So we three, I want to block. If they block, we can still create one. But it's at zero, is it not? So we don't create until we actually hit with something. We attack action control hits. I need to watch the side because it pops up, doesn't it? What I have active. I think it's just double swing. Ah, because it doesn't have cost zero. Okay, so that was my misplay. We don't have salt the wound, salt the wound, which is interesting. We're probably dead on board. <laughs> but... That's how it goes, right? It'll take me a while to, to figure out the deck. And also tweak it, obviously. So if you have any suggestions on what I'm sort of missing with Tiger Benji, I'll probably end up looking up at setups. So T-Bone has to be defended. That's fine. Sort of why we saved. We have pouncing, 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 pouncing. Right? And that is Blade Break. So we're taking the two. Again, we're probably done for. I should probably be defending, but obviously I want to go for fun things. No, they didn't boost. Interesting. Curious. So they're going for some sort of setup. Okay, so the question is, how do we play this? We have nothing that allows us to gain resources for the Kadachi. So I feel like taking the needles might be better. Is it just stringing, pouncing key together over and over again? I feel like it is. Right, and then just into Salt the Wounds. If we get any to land, we can proc this for a Crouching Tiger to go for a little bit more damage. Rather sink block with one, because they don't have equipment left. Yeah, perfect, we get the hit too. So that means we can play a Crouching Tiger. Wait, did I misread that? Instant, destroy this, create a crouching tiger. Why did I draw out of curiosity? Ah, right, because it doesn't have go again because of the tiger. That was dumb of me. And it's only you play it this turn. Okay, that was, that was an okay start, but we'll find another game. Now that I can read a little bit better. 
So how could we have done that? We need to land the Tigers. So we need some way to buff them, which is Benji's ability. I think Ira, Ira is actually probably better, right? Because then it's always guaranteed that the second one can land. Hmm. Let me, let me think about it. I might swap to Ira. Okay, we're against Nardol. I think we, we want to go first, right? So this should also be interesting because they need a little bit of time to build up. So we might be able to get things off the ground. All right, so we have Art of War. We can banish one, search for two, get the plus one. This doesn't matter, right? So if anything, we want to pitch it somehow. Does, does this qualify as zero cost? Out of curiosity, uh, I guess we just, we go for it, right? So we pitch that, we go buff and draw, or even do we, do we go with go again to start off? No, we'll, we'll banish and buff, because why not? Pass. Uh, we have the one resource, I need to save that a bit better. We got flex claws, which is great, but we got the other tiger eye. That's, that's a bit annoying. It's not what we want. Is there a way to tell if they're, they're active? I mean, technically it's zero, correct? We'll start with that. Get one off the tech low. Still gonna land. It's fine. We can go into a tiger. Not that it matters, right? Because we don't actually have a payoff other than pouncing key. Although I suppose that would then would that get to Mask of Momentum? If all three hit, that would get to Mask of Momentum. They also have to be, well, it's the first round. So because they have three, I should have, I should have actually gone the other way, I think, because they only have three cards. I should have let them go first so that I could try and sink their hand. That way we keep the pressure up. But we do get a hit, that's good. So I can Go into a Crouching Tiger. Why did that get a Crouching Tiger? I don't care. Oh, right, because the effect, duh. Um, well, we might as well play Crouching Tigers, right? Because we also have the Art of War to buff them. So it's stronger anyway. If only we had Salt the Wounds. So yeah, so it gets one off of the Pouncing and Key, and then one off of the buff. No, is that correct? Does, is this... Attack action cards. This does not count as attack action if it's in the banish. Right? That's curious. They're preventing the damage. That's fine. Uh, we don't need a resource. We don't need... I probably will generate the other tiger. We've sunk in a decent amount of their equipment, though, which is what we like. Uh, I am going to go into Pouncing Q again. This disrupts the chain. No, because it's instant. instant. That would disrupt the chain. No, it's instant as well. I'm trying to think what disrupts the chain. Because that also, also gets me sometimes. Pass. The big question is just whether or not this counts. This will be the second hit. we do Pouncing. And has go again because of Crouching Tiger, which is great. I like the orange indicator. Makes it a bit easier on me. And then we swing twice. Yeah. What's the what's the way to get more damage on the Zephyr Needle? Or is it just a break? I feel like it's something for it the plus one, maybe. I'm it's curious that they're letting attacks through, right? Because they get to redraw. It must be an item. That's the only reason I can think they didn't block. Uh, when attack action you control is the third or higher. Chain link in a row to hit. They, does the three have to be in a row? That's interesting. I guess we swing. If we have go again, we can use the blood scent. Right? All depends if this counts as a zero cost card. Pass. Does it? Uh, I have zero AP, so I'm going to assume it doesn't. It's just... Right? Yeah, that was weird. I shouldn't have done that. Don't add blocks to the arsenal because they're dead cards in the arsenal. It's good to know. We do have both blocks, which is actually kind of nice because we can start with some damage. Right? Uh, we'll do the three block. Pass. We get our Crouching Tiger, which is good. We can growl into it. Right, growl, Tiger Tiger, Pouncing Key. 
Anything else? No. Take low hearts into something else. They're not getting very lucky with the items. There's some damage resist, which is good, right? Mini force field is definitely, definitely decent. A way to shut down our combo. And then the backup protocol. I don't think that's really good. I mean, I get, they get, uh, what was it? Zip it back zero to 50. Boosting for three. They both have blade breaks. So we're only blocking for two. We have two tigers. Dumpster dive for five, four, because they didn't get the, the buff. Yeah, they're not getting really lucky on items, unfortunately. And I definitely need to swap out the weapons with what I'm going for. Because we're almost sort of pitchless as well. Which just makes them a, a bad choice, right? Because of the zero requirement. You might as well take the katana because that has go again, if I remember correctly. Well, you do have to pitch for it. I think the needles are just what you want. Or even taking some of the uh, other, other utility, right? So that we can cycle cards or anything like that. The mask of momentum. I mean, eventually we should be able to get high chain links. So I, we should be able to proc it. But the new mask is probably a bit easier, right? To get off. Even though it's only one use. Then again, this is split, so it's it's fairly quick. I'm curious, what are, what are you doing? Are you lamenting the fact that you're not getting any items? Hmm. So I guess they've, they've gone AFK. It's not that good. And we're sort of at the weird point, right? Right? I don't really want to do another game because it'll probably drag on. Ha. Huh. I will see if they come back. Well, bittersweet. Uh, yeah. What can we do? They fortunately had to go. Oh, well, we will leave it there, right? I will tweak it a bit, think about the weapon selection and think about Ira instead. But yeah, generally what I'm trying to do Right, it's not as gimmicky as obviously the other decks, but I just need a fifth deck. Uh, is a bunch of tigers into salt the wounds. That's all I want to get off. Right, if you've got better setups for the deck, because I know crouching tiger Benji is a big thing. Let me know. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed. See ya.